Hello, hello. Uh, this is Prophet West, Brother West. Decided to come back again. Come back again once again. Uh, this time another word. This thing keep turning in my spirit. This word keeps speaking to me. He's been speaking to me. This word been speaking to me. And um, I just wanted to let you know, and, and God's been saying the same stuff. There are certain things that we must do. There are certain things we must do that will cause God to do what he wants to do. There are certain things that we must do. And even the Bible, even when, even when it comes to salvation, comes to following Jesus, the Bible says, Jesus said, if any man desires to come after me, the first thing he must do is he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. In other words, Something in that man, something in that woman, something in that boy, something in that girl must die. Something must be cut. The Bible simply says that if any man is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away, but behold, all things have become new. So there's a transition. There's a transformation. There's a separation. There's a cutting and that's the word that God's speaking to me. He's speaking it to me. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Brother, whatever you're tied to, whatever you're holding on to, whatever you have your hands on, just like what God had even had told the, the woman, uh, the woman and the man at the Garden of Eden with the, with, it, with, the, with, with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said that the day that you eat or touch, surely you're going to die. To touch means to lay with, to be intimate with, to spend time with, to know, to be familiar with. God want, don't even want us to touch certain things no more. He don't want us to hold on to certain things no more. At this particular place in your life right now, at this test, at the end of this test, at the end of this test, in order to walk into the promise, in order to walk into what God has for you, there's a choice that you must that must be made. There are certain things that must die. To sacrifice means something must die. You must give up something. You must go through some pain. And in your pain, in your hurt, serves as an offering acceptable to God. You're sacrificing. You're giving up something for, the Christ, for Christ's sake. The Bible calls it the fellowship of his suffering. When you suffer for him, you're fellowshipping with him. In other words, you're having a relationship. Uh, one, one person you know, used the example one time, fellows in a ship. You got these people, this one ship on this water floating and gliding and going forth to their destination. Fellowship. You want a fellowship with God? Deny. Deny that thing. Deny that thing that you desire before God. Desire that car, uh, deny that car. Deny that person. Deny that boy. Deny that thing. Deny that appetite. Whatever it is that you have in your possession that you're struggling with, that you're wrestling with, and but that you want God to bless you, that you want God to answer your prayer, God is saying, give me that. Give me that. You want your answer. You want your breakthrough. You want your miracle. You want your touch. You want the transition. You want your healing. Give me that. Give me that thing. Give me that Achan, the thing that you hear, uh, that you hear from God, that you hear from everybody, that you don't want nobody to know nothing about, that you don't want nobody you're dealing with, that issue, that problem, that situation that you're having, that, that thing that you can't break, you keep, it's like a cycle, you keep going through it over and over, it keeps coming back up again, it keeps coming back up again, and every time you fail the test, it keeps coming back up again, and so it's here, every time God's going to bless you, this, this test comes up, this thing comes up, and see, the thing about this issue that you've had pretty much all of your life, it's been small. But now that you're under attack, now that uh, God is God's hand and light is shining upon you, you are being blessed. You're being birthed out. You're being elevated. Uh, you're under attack. God is choosing you to be blessed. God is choosing you as a testimony. So now the thing that was small has become big. And this issue has become so big that you see it, that you're tired of it, you're frustrated with it. And so God wants you to kill the issue. He wants you to uh, break the issue. He wants you to remove the issue. He wants you to remove it, just like what God had told uh, the children of Israel in the book of in the book of Revelation concerning Babylon, and He told her to come out of her, and if you come out of her, you won't partake, partake in her sins, nor her plagues. 
Come out of her that you might be blessed, that you might be set aside. See, God wants you to cut certain things because God wants you to be set aside to be used. To be sanctified means to be set aside or to be set aside and to be used by God. Just like with harvest time and harvest time with the wheat of the tares. See, the tares of the wheat, they grew up together because they looked, they looked apart. They looked alike. But in harvest time, the, 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 the tares were separated. They were bundled up and put in, the pie, uh, put in the fire and they were burned. But the wheat, the things that were usable, the things that God wanted to use in the service, to use, it, they were gathered to be used in the storehouse. God wants you to be gathered. He wants you to be used. So in order for him, but, but, but before he can gather you, there are certain things you must let go of. There are certain things you must cut. Apostle Paul knew that. That's why he said, forget those things that are behind me. I press toward those things before he let those things go in order for those things that are before him, this promise to grab him. So let go, let go, let go, let go. Cut it, cut it, cut it. That's the word. That's the prophetic word. Cut it.